Crowds are also forming here in the district. They've marched from U Street to the White House, closing streets in the process. President Obama urged calm minutes ago. Hurting others or destroying property is not the answer. We have team coverage of this story right now from Ferguson to here in D.C. We begin with Jackie Benson. She is at the White House where protesters just arrived. Jackie. Jim, we have some footage to show you. It was shot maybe about 15 or 20 minutes ago, and it shows hundreds of protesters uh, just flooding into Lafayette Park, headed toward the White House. Um, I can tell you that most of them are young people in their 20s. Many of them are wearing sweatshirts that indicate they are from the colleges here in the D.C. area, and you can see uh, they are gathered right now in front of the White House. Uh, there are a couple people up there with megaphones. They're giving speeches, and um, people People generally have a very, very uh, concerted air of protest. They're applauding and uh, very peaceful. There, there are probably two or three dozen Secret Service and uh, some D.C. police here, but they are in, in an extremely relaxed position right now. Um, the, the position of the police here is let people say as much as they want, let them stay as long as they want, let them express how they feel, and uh, they've certainly uh, done dealt with a much, much larger, larger protest than this, at, than this at this point. They're about 200 and 300 people here and more keep arriving. Live in Lafayette Park, Jackie Benson, News 4. Jackie, thank you. Those protesters began their march near the U Street Metro Station. Police blocked traffic as that group marched to the White House. News 4's Shamari Stone is live from the starting point of the march. Shamari, what's happening uh, over on U Street now? Well, right now on U Street, it's relatively peaceful. It was peaceful during the protest as well. I'm here at U Street and Vermont Avenue Northwest, and let's show you some video. Hundreds of protesters were marching down U Street. They went up 12th to 14th. Many of them had their hands up, indicating that Michael Brown had his hands up when Officer Darren Wilson shot and killed him. That's what they believe. Many are outraged that the grand jury did not indict Officer Darren Wilson. They're upset. They're frustrated. However, they are very peaceful. In fact, many of them were complimenting the police, how they were showing restraint. Many of them also said and questioned what would have happened if Darren Wilson was black and Michael Brown was a white teenager. That's what they were saying to me. Well, um, I'm also going to show you some video from the U Street African American Civil War Memorial Cardoza station. A lot of folks gathered here uh, before they actually came from Howard University and they were holding signs that said no justice, no peace. Many of them also decided that this is the best way to handle this in order to protest what happened in Ferguson. Live here in D.C., I'm Shamari Stone, News 4.